limit x tends to 0, 1 plus x to the power of n minus 1 divided by x is n. Let us prove this. For proving that, let us consider let y equal to 1 plus x. If x tends to 0, then y will tend to 1. So we can rewrite this uh, x as this implies x is equal to y minus 1. So the above limit can be now expressed in terms of y as limit instead of x tends to 0, we will write now y tends to 1. And then numerator 1 plus x, we will write it as y to the power of n minus 1 divided by x can be written as y minus 1. Now, y power n is available, 1 is there, so I can consider this 1 also as 1 to the power of n. Now we can apply the useful limit using the useful limit which we had seen in our previous video, which is limit x tends to a x to the power of n minus a to the power of n divided by x minus a. We know that is n times a power n minus 1. We will use that because it is very, very similar. Instead of x, it is y. Instead of 1, it's instead of a, it is 1. And instead of uh, x, it is y only. So everything is similar. So we can now write this as n a. A here it is 1 to the power of n minus 1. 1 to the power of n minus 1 will be 1 only. So we can say now n times 1, which is nothing but n. That is our desired right-hand side, hence the proof.